Hello, I'm Steve. This is Bit of Munch. Cheers. Yes, it's another booze and pizza video. Something a bit different this time though. My protein chicken curry pizza. Four pounds from Iceland. Now, my protein have got quite a big range in Iceland. I haven't tried any of the products yet because they're quite expensive. I mean, four pound for this pizza, and it's not that huge. I'll show you actually. Here we go. Yeah, it's not that big, and uh, it's a bit more than I would normally spend for a frozen pizza, but we will see. Yeah, high in protein. Now that really attracted me because I thought, ah, high protein, it's chicken curry, there'll be loads of chicken on it. No, nah. 15%, uh, sorry, 14% chicken. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it'll be a bad pizza. Because I've had pizzas before with that percentage of chicken on them or that percentage of meat on them, and they've been really good. But I was a bit disappointed. Uh, protein isn't one of the first things I look for when I'm buying food. In fact, it's probably the last thing I look for. Uh, it's also got spinach on it, which I've Googled, and I find is actually uh, quite high in protein. So what have we got? The, the first ingredient is broad bean flour. Is that high in protein? Well, I guess it must be. Because I found out that most of the protein on this comes from the base. Because it actually says protein enriched base. So I'm, I'm guessing, I haven't Googled it, I'm guessing broad beans are high in protein. Uh, yeah, mozzarella 15%, chicken 14%, red pepper 4%, onion 4%, spinach 2%. And then something called psyllium husk powder. Never heard of that. Psyllium is P S Y double L I U M. I'm sure someone will Google that for me and tell me in the comments what it is, because I ain't got a clue. Right, as you might have seen, I've already cut it up. I've also made myself made myself a garlic dip, but it, a cheats garlic dip, because I've mixed together. Some mayo, this is my mayo of choice now, Heinz Seriously Good, because, well, it's seriously good. Yeah, I mix that together with some garlic, Kerala garlic. These herbs and spices I get from Home Bargains, and they're, they're really cheap. I can't remember if they're 39p or 49p, one or the other, but they're really cheap. And they're just as good as all the leading brands. Who needs to buy Schwartz or anything like that when you can get these so cheap? Anyway, mix them together and made a little dip. I've put cheese on half of the pizza, but I'm not going to try half. Ooh, it's falling apart already. I'm not going to try a piece with the extra cheese on it, because that wouldn't be fair, would it? Well, I'm going to try it when I eat it all shortly, but I'm not going to... You know what I mean, you know what I mean. Well, I hope you know what I mean, because I haven't got a clue what I mean. Right, very thin base. You can smell the curry. Not a strong curry smell, but you can smell it. And surprisingly, you can actually smell the spinach as well. Um, considering it's only, what, 2%. You can smell it. Right, let's just dive in. And have a, the base actually, yeah, that's weird. It doesn't look as white as a lot of pizza bases. I'm guessing, guessing that's the broad bean flour. So yeah, let's just have a go. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. 
Mm. Right. That base is quite soft, actually. Now, I did cook it for a few minutes longer than it said on the pack. Let's just have a bit of the crust, and then I'll uh, comment on the taste. Right, that base, even though it's quite thin, and I've got something stuck in my teeth here. That's annoying. There it is. <clears throat> bit of spinach. Uh, the base is actually a bit dry, and that comes through. Surprisingly, despite the cheese and the sauce, you can tell that the base is a little dry. The curry flavour is very mild. Let's try a bit of the chicken on its own. The chicken's a little dry. Hmm. That's not worth four quid. It definitely isn't. Yeah, uh, big disappointment, big disappointment. Even if it was two quid, I'd have been disappointed, but nah, that's vastly overpriced. That really is. Now I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'm certain Iceland used to do, I don't know why I'm showing you that, <laughs> uh, Iceland used to do um, a chicken tikka pizza in their wood-fired range. I don't know if they still do it. I might even have reviewed it. I don't know. My memory's shot away. I can't remember what I did half an hour ago. Uh, yeah, anyway, that wood-fired tikka pizza was really good. Really, really good. This isn't. I don't recommend it. While we're on the subject of pizza and the amount of meat on them, before my son went off to work earlier, he had this pizza, which I got from Asda. One Planet Pizza. Spicy Pepper Nomi. Plant-based pizza, because my son's vegetarian. And this has got uh, jackfruit pepperoni on it and spicy vegan Mexicana cheese. And I tell you what, I tried a piece of that. Well, a very small piece of that, because that's all he let me have. Before he uh, he demolished the rest of it. And it had, this had more taste than this. And this is a bargain at the moment. It's normally, oh, what is it? I wish I'd, I should have checked this earlier. I think it's normally 3 75 from Asda, and it was £1.50. I think I've got that right. But even so, if it's full price at 3 75 I would much rather eat that than eat that. There you go. That's what I think of all that. I'm gonna. Go, I would say I'm gonna go and enjoy all that, but hey, hang on. Let's try a piece. Let's. I will try a bite with the extra cheese. Hmm. Oh. It's better because it's cheesier. But the base is still dry, and there's not much curry taste, and everything I've already said. Can't taste the onions much, can't taste the pepper much. Don't buy it. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I enjoy the next pizza more than this pizza. Thanks for watching.